How to prepare for the Duolingo English test. Tip number one is to do your research. This is for when you're first starting out with the DET and you kind of want to see what it's like and what you can expect on the test. I would say the first thing to do would be to create a free account on our website. That's going to give you access to a lot of free and very useful information. I would start with the test readiness page, which I'll link here for you guys. That has a lot of useful info on it, including our test readiness guide, which is over 80 pages of content, and that tells you all about how the questions are scored, what question types there are on the test. It's got practice questions in the appendix, so that's a really great resource. Another one that I always recommend, which is also on that test readiness page, is a video walkthrough of the test. This is going to be a video that is, from start to finish, every question, every section, every process of the test. So it's really easy to understand. You should check that out. Tip number two, practice your English. So in the days, weeks, months leading up to the test, make sure to practice your English as much as you can, using all your skills. We have a couple good suggestions on the Duolingo blog on how to practice language, and I'll leave those linked down below. But some of my favorite ways to practice another language are to listen to movies, or shows, or music that I like or read books in another language, read news articles, or watch TV news, have conversations with friends in another language. You can even join a Duolingo event or even just practicing essay writing or letter writing at home. Tip number three is to do the practice test. The practice test is a free, short version of the DET that's on our website. You can find it really easily if you're logged in on your home page. It says practice now. A couple things to keep in mind about the practice test are that it is shorter than the real test. Our practice tests are 15 minutes whereas the real test is going to be one hour. The practice test is also going to give you an estimated score range instead of your exact score, and that's because it's not practiced or score in the same way that the certified test is. But it is a great way to get to see all the questions and kind of interact with them and see what you can expect on the real test. So a lot of test takers take the practice test multiple times. We also have a smaller item pool on the practice test, so you might see a repeated question, which you would not see on the real test. Tip number four is to get your space ready. One of the great things about the DET is that you can take it from anywhere. So you're going to want to choose a space that's comfortable to you that also has a stable internet connection, good lighting, and a lot of peace and quiet. We actually have a whole video about setting up your space and checking your equipment, so I'm going to link that for you here, and also in the description. Tip number five is to know the rules and requirements. I'm going to link a couple more things for you guys in the description box about this. We have some really great resources on our website, specifically on our frequently asked questions page. One of my favorite articles that's there is the four most commonly broken rules and ways to avoid them. So I'll leave that there for you guys. Also during the onboarding for the test, which is the setup part in the beginning, they are going to remind you of all the rules and requirements to make sure you're satisfying them all before you start the test. A couple I'll remind you of in this video are to make sure to keep your eyes on the screen as much as possible, make sure all your external programs are closed, and make sure no one interrupts you during the test. Those are three really common ones. So the last tip, tip number six, is to get in the right mindset. First pick a time of day when you're going to think and feel your best. Some people are morning people, some people are more night owls, some people think better in the afternoon. Make sure you're choosing the time when you're going to perform at your best. Practice English right before the test or as close as possible to the test to get in the right mindset. You could call a friend to speak in English, you could read a book or an article, or you could even read the test readiness guide in English if you want to practice. And finally, make sure you're feeling calm and confident, have had a nourishing snack, have had enough water to drink, 
and also had enough sleep the night before. 